Should I leave the meeting because it's being recorded? Oh, no, I'd do have a pastor for that of many. I have a Messiah to the Shmaya. This is a kiss from the Ubana Shalom. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is crazy. This is most crazy. No, I'll, I'll tell you once we get to it. Once we get to it. Cliffhanger, as they say. So, Hevra, entering into the week, Hayom Yom Rishon Shabbat, the covered Shabbos, everything in the covered Shabbos. So, it's Fila of the Kola of Am Yisrael. Every single person, every single soul, Mamish. God, you who are good and do good. And this is from the Kutit Tfil. Uh, we're going to admit Brother Hevra. This is good. This is not much good. You who desire the prayers of your nation, the Jewish people, you know the precious beauty and glorious holiness of the words of the holy prayer that we pour forth before you. Mayim Chaimim Chaim. You know the splendid beauty and precious holiness of each letter of prayer. Who can express the glory of these banquets? of wondrous, awesome, precious, and lovely blossoms and other plants that we, uh, oh, bouquets, <laughs> bouquets of wondrous, awesome, precious, and lovely blossoms and other plants that we gather together from the holy supernal fields with each letter and word, and most of all, with each blessing that we recite in prayer. If we could hear and appreciate the pearls, precious stones that we express with our mouths, if we could comprehend the precious beauty and glory of the awesome words of prayer, the holiness of each phrase, we could not complete a single blessing or even a single word. We would be bound to the first letter of the first word. How crazy is this Tfilah, Kamar? I mean, we're, this is coming from Rav Nassan. Rav Nassan of Breslev, Rav Nassan of Mimra, Rav Nachman, student, main disciple. These letters, these words that are inscribed in the Kutay field are coming from the deepest depths. And he's talking about our beautiful prayer that each and every Jew, no matter if we're, if we're speaking in our personal language or through the Siddur or through other modes, whether it be the Torah, how beautiful each letter is. And if we've begun to even understand the preciousness of one letter, the weight that one letter holds, we wouldn't move past one letter, says Rav Nassim. This is crazy. How is it possible to leave that letter since it's so precious, beautiful, radiant, and glorious, a glory that cannot be verbalized, which, because of the strength of its connection with the soul, does not allow the soul to leave it and go on. So, Heber, we'll, we'll stop there. But to understand and just to get a little insight into what it means to pray, one letter of prayer, one letter, Kavah, we should know. So, Heber, leading, oh, is it Ramilek's uh, your side tonight, right? Remarks your side tonight. Chaim. Jack, I will be. I Chaim, have people in the car, so I have to hang up. But no, 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 Chaim, 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 Chaim. 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 No, 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 Chaim, this is Mamish, the keeper will be covering you. You won't be able to drive. It's so deep. Jack, I was out of my hand just now, and it's your dear Shemesh, it's the chaf. All right. Okay. Achim, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the record the 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 story. Uh, okay. I will. I will. I will. Mom, it's the, your your keeper will be covering your face. It's so deep. Okay. Fine. I will. All right. So have a secret. I need to have a come. All right. So. <laughs> Okay, it is very good, says Rav Nachman, to pour out your thoughts before Hashem like a child pleading before his father. Hashem calls us his children as it's written in Devarim. You are children to Hashem, your God. Therefore, it is good, Hebra, to express your thoughts and troubles to Hashem like a child complaining and pestering his father. You may think you've done so much wrong, 
that you are no longer one of Hashem's children, but remember that Hashem still calls you his child. We are taught for good or for evil, you are always called his children. This is a Mesecha Kedushin. In Tracte Kedushin, this is my, such an important quote, for good or for evil. Binkach binkach, you are always called his children. It's the, most, it's the biggest line in all of Shas, I think. It's the biggest line. So, so Chavra, think about it. Lahavdiel, Elf Alafim. It gives us a good good insight into what, what's going on here. Back in the day, Yeshiva Snoyim, Yeshiva Snoyim, he gets sent to the office, right? It's the scariest thing in the world, getting called to the office. <laughs> scariest thing. <laughs> Calls the parents, whatever. You don't want to go home. You don't want to have that first interaction. I mean, you guys are good kids, but for me, you know, maybe I got sent to the office one or two times, right? And you get home so scared. But you get home into the, the parents' arms. You're a child. Whether you get in trouble or not, you're a child. You're a child. And that warmth and that 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 uh, that safety net is so important. And we have to believe that with Hashem, with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, All the more so. Let's even assume that Hashem has dismissed you from being a child. Still. Chas v'sham. Still. You must say, let him do as he will. I must do my part and still act like a child. Such a chiddish! <laughs> Rabbi Nachman saying, don't even let go of being a child. Even if, chas we can't even imagine, being let go. Being let go. The, the father saying, no, you're not my child anymore. Chas v'shalom. Still act like a child. Still pester. Have the azis to gedusha. The holy boldness. And say, no, I am your child. I'm still pestering. I'm still knocking on the door. I still want a candy. I still want you to see me cry. <laughs> Rabbi Nachman says, and we'll stop here. And then we'll enter into the story where the kippah's mamish will be floating. How very good is it when you can awaken your heart and plead until tears stream from your eyes and you stand like a little child crying before his father. So we'll stop here. Sikha 7. And this is where the story begins. So, Chavra, a couple of years ago, I was listening to a lot of Shlomo Baruch Hashem, and they would come out on his YouTube channel every single month, just a talk of uh, a talk that was recorded back in the day. So, in the month of Av, which connotes our Av, our Father in Heaven, there was a beautiful, beautiful 29 minutes long, 29 minutes long, if I remember correctly, or 27 minutes, of just uh, Rav Shlomo Mamish giving us the depths. But he shared this most powerful story from a Levi Yitzhak Min Burdichev. And I was scrambling right before the Zoom. I'm like, Rebona Shailam, I, I just want a story. I want a story. I feel like I need a story. I feel like the Chavar needs a story. So I went to the story books, the Holy Story books. Mamish, pull this one out. And I went to page 71. And there was the story that I haven't heard in two years. The story that I haven't heard in two years, Mamish, one of my favorite. And actually, I think it's one of the most important stories ever. We just said it's the, that was the most important quote in Shas, maybe, debatably. This is Mamish, one of the most important stories that we could ever hear. So buckle up like Joshua Hyman is, part of Am Yisrael. And Mamish just ascend, ascend while being stable, okay? Okay, okay, we're, 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 we're stable right now. We have two feet on the ground. Okay, right here is it. Here's the story. It happened in this Revlevi Yisak. the defender of Am Yisrael. It happened once that Rabbi Levi Yisak of, of Berdiche was traveling. And he stayed overnight at a certain inn. At the same inn, there were some Jewish merchants on their way to a fair. These merchants were not acquainted with Rabbi, Rabbi Levi Yitzchak, and he appeared to them as just one of the passerby. The next day, the merchants arose early. Since, the, since they had only one pair of tefillin, they quickly passed the tefillin around and recited hurried prayers in their haste to reach the fair. When they had completed their prayers, Rabbi Levi Yitzchak of Verdichev turned to two of them among the youngest in the group and said, if you please come here, I have a question for you. 
They approached him and he began to mumble. Ma, 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 na, na, na. Ba, ba, ba. He began to, hum, to mumble. What are you saying? Asked the merchants. Rabbi Levi Yisak continued to mumble. Ba, 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 ta, ta, ta. The merchants stared at him in amazement. This man must have lost his mind. He's nuts. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? And Rabbi Levi Yisak responded, Really? As though he were also amazed. Do you not understand what I'm saying? But this is the same way that you just spoke to God. Do not worry, answered one of the merchants. Let me explain with this analogy. A baby lying in his crib mumbles, ba 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 da 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 daddy da 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 If all the wise men of the East and West gathered, they would not understand what the baby is saying. But if his parents, if his parents passed by and heard him, they would immediately know what he wanted, if he's hungry or thirsty. So it is with us, the people of Israel. We are the children of God, and he knows the desires of every heart and listens to the prayers of every mouth. Well said, said the Rebbe, jumping for joy. His response was jumping for joy. Our Father in Heaven listens to the prayers of His children. <laughs> Even when we thought we were exempt from prayer. Even when we thought we weren't being answered. This is the deepest story. Even when our prayer prayers are so incomplete, we may not be able to pr pronunciate the words. Even if we don't even know what we're saying. Even if we don't know what we're saying. Hashem knows. Hashem knows. Hashem is our Father in Heaven. Just like the babies crying in the crib and the parents attend the baby at 2 in the morning and know exactly what the baby wants, same too, all the more so with the Rebbe Hashem. We should be Zoha, not just in prayer, but with every aspect of Avos Hashem. To keep on going weiter, to keep on taking one next good step, one next good step, one next choice of belief. One next choice. Suspending ourselves to Rebona Shalom. We should be Zoka. See at the questions, comments, please feel free. That was the most fire story I ever heard in my life. Mamish. How fire? Scale of one to ten. I think that's it. I think that's the story. They're taking it in. They're taking it in. Trevor, um, you... not... yeah. What? Uh, Almy's not buying the fire. He's not buying. No, the... no, 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 no. I have no. What I are mean, you talking? He, he's in Lezhensk right now. He wants a Ravali Malik story. Makes sense. By the cover. <laughs> By the way, what's crazy about that story is that you could read it in so many different ways. Meaning, like, it's just as beautiful the part of the Berdich of Rav saying, like, you guys are just like not even speaking to Hashem and you think he's going to hear that. Like that in and of itself is a message. Like so many times we dive and we say to and it's just like, mm. you know, like that they were actually saying the words or like, you're just like blabbing it out. And like, thank God, like either way, like Hashem's like, Rachame Shemai. Renafwin has a comment on this. I remembered it. Yeah. We kept focusing davening, even just reading the words, but Kachai pretending to read out face for the first time. I still accept it. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Both are schmuck. Wow. That's very good. Very good, Joshua. Very good, Ami. Very good. It, it's it's big. It's mamish big. I mean, obviously, like you said, the, the story can be interpreted in so many ways. But just to mamash uh, put it out there, just to put it out there to to just uh, set the, set the path, set the path for the rest of our lives with the story mamash. Shpizocha. Oh my. Um, question. Oh. Uh, um, any more questions before we go? We're fired up. Fired up. Okay. Fired up. So let's let's oh. win the let's win the rest of the day, and fired up. Be well. Be well. All right. Bye.